Seven-term U.S. Representative Charlie Dent of Pennsylvania announced today that he will resign, leaving office next month. Last fall, Dent said that he would not seek re-election in November of 2018. This evening, I asked Dent why leave right now. Well, I had uh, conversations with my family for some time, and, and we decided now uh, was the right time. Uh, I should tell you that uh, I, I really want to get out there and bring a voice to the Sensible Center uh, for this country. Uh, I also, I have no final plans about my, uh, my own uh, uh, professional uh, opportunities, but uh, I, you know, I've been planning, and I just uh, just as soon try to uh, deal with those issues w when I'm out of out of Congress rather than when I'm in. What do you mean, uh, be a voice for the Sensible Center? What does that mean? We have a primary process here that rewards those who, uh, you know, tend to want to tack to the bases. Some would say to the extremes, and uh, and so those those folks I, I think are much better represented in the U.S. Congress uh, than than I would say people who are more pragmatic, more solutions oriented. It's a very big problem. The center is a, is a large swath of the, of the country, but not a large swath of the Congress right now. But if the moderates, whether it's center-right, as you, I think you've described yourself, or center-left, are all leaving, uh, who's going to do that job in Congress? Well, we're going to have to, we're going to work on it from the outside, too. I was encouraged to see, you know, groups like the Problem Solvers, No Labels. They stepped in and helped Dan Lipinski in his race in the Democratic primary out in Illinois, where he was being... Uh, attacked from the far left, and he prevailed. And so I think there needs to be a, a political infrastructure uh, much uh, further developed out uh, across the country to help candidates uh, like that, you know, who can speak to a broader audience and who have the capacity actually to get to yes. Because many of these people who are, who are attacking to the bases and some to the extremes uh, just find their political safety at the base, and they are just not in a position where they can seek consensus and ultimately uh, support a compromise. You've told reporters in uh, the last year or so, Congressman Dent, that you've grown tired of, of trying to explain to people what's happening in Washington, including under the leadership of President Trump. Is that a, a part of your decision? Well, I I've noticed, too, that the polarization and paralysis in this, in this Congress has been going on for some time. It predated Donald Trump. Certainly with Donald Trump, he is... Uh, made this even more challenging. I would say the president was a factor in my decision to not seek re-election, but not, not the factor. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a few years. Uh, but the paralysis is, uh, it is what it is. I mean, we saw, you know, a government shutdown in 2013, uh, an, an absolutely futile, stupid gesture, uh, all to advance uh, the interests of one U.S. senator, uh, political interests. I mean, it made absolutely no sense, and people went along for this on this suicide mission for no reason. That's where I really started to see things break down. Uh, that was the beginning of it. But that, again, that predated Donald Trump. And now that we have, you know, the President Trump, you know, he brings his own set of uh, issues, you know, in terms of the chaos and dysfunction down at the White House that make governing very difficult. Now, I voted against the health care bill, for example. And, you know, I'm glad I did uh, for a lot of reasons. But after the, passed, the bill passed the House, you know, the President said it was mean. The bill was mean. Uh, or just, uh, you know, just watching the other day with Nikki Haley, you know, taking a position on, on Russian sanctions, only then to have the president say, well, no, that's not where we are. I mean, he seems to contradict or undermine some of his own staff from time to time. I'm sure you know a lot of people believe Republicans face an uphill fight this fall. Uh, they may lose, uh, may lose majority uh, control of the House. Um, how strong is the Republican Party right now going into these elections? Well, the Republican Party is certainly in a very defensive position. Uh, you know, during a midterm, the first midterm of a, of a president, the, the party in power usually loses 32 seats in the House. You know, we are running into a very strong headwind. This, this uh, midterm election will likely be a referendum on the president of the United States and his conduct in office. And that will drive this election probably more than anything else. So I, I tell my colleagues, particularly those in the swing and marginal districts, that they need to put some, some distance between themselves uh, and the president, just as Connor Lamb did in southwestern Pennsylvania. He put some distance between himself and his own party's leadership, which I thought was actually a smart thing to do. Republicans will probably have to do the same thing in the swing and marginal districts. So do you think Republicans can win a majority? Well, I'd say it's, a, it, it's, it's tough. It'll be, a, it'll be an uphill climb. It's probably 50-50 at best. And at least uh, the odds can change. Certainly the energy, the enthusiasm, and the anger is on the Democratic side. In this election, uh, there's there's no there's no sugarcoating that. So, 
you know, there's a big wave coming, and you know, some members are gonna have to get off the beach. Uh, you've got to watch this real carefully. And uh, so I don't know what they, the members are going to, Republican members will likely try to localize these races to the best that they, they can. These races right. now are much more nationalized than they used to be, so they'll localize this. And I suspect Republican uh, candidates will have to go out and try to discredit their opponents early. Uh, that might be the best way to, to proceed in, in this type of uh, cycle when everything's kind of stacked against you. Congressman Charlie Dent uh, stepping down uh, in coming weeks after serving 14 years in Congress. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Judy. Great to be with you.